Hello Earth Signs, Taurus, Capricorn and Virgo. Thank you for tuning in to your signs you're about to meet. Your soulmate love tarot reading. Really appreciate you popping by and joining me for this segment. Um, if you enjoy this content, don't forget to leave behind a like uh, and also subscribe to the channel, join the YouTube family and you'll get updates for readings for your sign. Um, I'm going to be using a couple of decks here to have a look and see what cards are coming up, what messages, signs and symbols you could receive um, in the lead up to meeting your soulmate. So let's give the cards a good shuffle and see what comes up for you, Earth Signs. Okay, Page of Wands. There's going to be a lot of movement, a lot of activity around you. You're going to be doing a lot, seeing a lot, potentially even traveling. Um, well, there's a message of travel. New beginnings. Okay, you've got the Ace of Pentacles. So powerful, um, powerful beginnings here for you. Signs you're about to meet your soulmate. There's a lot of physical changes or physical offers. So straight away, I'm being drawn to the fact that uh, you may have a new job. You may be offered... Um, a new job, you might be offered more money um, or, or a change in your physical living situation. Okay, the tower, okay, drastic change, um, falling out of friends, one night stands, affairs, addictions, toxic behavior, um, unforeseen events. It makes me think there's going to be a lot of drama in your life, okay? So signs you're about to meet your soulmate would indicate a very crazy, chaotic, unexpected turn of events um, that's going to happen right before you meet this person. Now, um, for a lot of you with the Tower card, it could indicate that it's a bit of a shake-up, so you're going to shake up your routine. You know, you do like routine, Earth signs. Um, let's not deny it. So you're going to be mixing up a lot of things, trying new things. I mean, this is some risk-taking behavior. So it makes me think you're going to be taking a lot of risks. Um, and a sign here is that there's going to be a lot of opportunity to engage in risky or crazy or even thrilling um, behavior here. Uh, like I said, for some of you, the Ace of Pentacles is a new start. It's either um, you're going to get a new job or you're going to be offered some money um, or there's going to be a restructure to your salary. These could be signs in the physical realm that you're about to meet your person, um, your soulmate. The Eight of Swords makes me think you're going to have something. You're going to have a feeling that you're almost like anticipating something and it's going to throw you into a bit of anxiety and it's not something that you're used to. So I think when you are going to notice it with the eye here, um, with that Eight of Swords, you're going to realize that something's going on here. So you're going to start to feel an energy where you're anticipating something, but you don't know what. And you're sort of on your toes here. It's an odd sort of feeling, but I think you're going to start to detect it and you'll be like, okay, this is how I know something is happening. This is how I know I'm about to meet this person. Now, the King of Cups is here. Um, let's not shy away from the King of Cups and the Queen of Swords being here. King and Queen would indicate some of you, um, you're going to be in a relationship with someone um, before you meet your person. But the King and the Queen of Cups aren't from the same suit. Not that they don't complement each other. They do. Um, but they're not from the same suit, which makes me think it's a relationship that's not going to be successful. And thus, the two of you will move away from each other and eventually you'll end up meeting your person. Um, now, the Queen of Swords could also indicate um, she's she's all about communication and words. So it makes me think something about your communication or your way of thinking is going to change right before you meet your soulmate. Now, the Queen of Swords could indicate that you um, start reading or you pick up a book on, or on a topic you wouldn't really normally read about. Um, it could indicate that you learn a new language. It could indicate that you're going to try some law of attraction stuff. It's almost like you're going to adopt something new in the way you think or the way you communicate. All right. So it could be like you start to receive international phone calls um, or somehow the language on your iPhone keyboard changes um, or, you know, you have an invitation to join a book club or to study or to pursue a different path of, of education. They could be signs, very potent signs. Um, that your soulmate is about that is, is about to come into your life and you're about to meet them. 
Um, the King of Cups is often read as Pisces energy. Okay, so strong Pisces element around this person. Um, and I feel like with the King of Cups, it's self-love. But the King of Cups also rules over the intuition, okay? The dreams, the premonitions, etc. So I think you're going to be having a lot of dreams. This, the message here is that you're either going to pursue your psychic energy. Um, you're going to start keeping a dream journal. You'll start receiving a lot more vivid or psychic dreams, prophetic dreams, dreams that end up um, coming to fruition in, in your experience. And this is really powerful. So it's almost like you're awakening your third eye here. And that's a big sign that you're about to meet your soulmate. But it could also indicate for some of you, um, some of you know this person and you already have love for them. Now, it might not be romantic love. Maybe this is a soulmate that's already in your life um, and you love them uh, as one of your own. You know, you love them. You, you want to protect them. You want to nurture them. And this is a powerful message here that you already have that instinctual love. You already have some sort of attachment to them. So there's already something pre-existing, I feel, for a lot of you um, between yourself and this person. I do feel like with the Ace, the Eight, and the Nine of Pentacles, um, it's it's a lot to do with progression, money, and monetary or professional success. So I think if you're if you're enjoying some promotions or there's a restructure in pay, uh, or maybe there's something that you're doing here, that is signs and symbols that you're about to meet your soulmate or they're about to come into your life um, and change your life uh, in a very drastic way here. But it's lots to do with physical changes. And this is about money. Um, it's even like beautiful things. So you might be receiving a lot of beautiful gifts or beautiful experiences or beautiful energy right before um, your soulmate comes into your life. Very powerful indeed. Okay. The star card. This is fate. Fate at play here. Destiny. Healing. Um, so you've got an Aquarius and a Gemini. So you might be connecting with this person uh, in the time of Pisces season, maybe Gemini season or Aquarius season. Um, all these are powerful, significant times for you. Um, now with the star card, I think a lot of you, you're going to heal from something. It could be a physical injury. It could be a heartbreak. Um, it could be you go on a path of healing, of spiritual healing, right before you meet this person, okay? Um, I do feel like there's trials and tribulations for some of you with the Seven of Swords um, and the Lovers. The Lovers is a soulmate twin flame. This is very powerful. For a lot of you, I really do feel you've already met this person or you're with them, Um but I feel like it is, it could potentially be a first time online meeting. There may be a celebrity or someone that you know of, and then you end up having this face to face meeting, which is the lover's card, um, or you bump into each other very unexpectedly. Okay. Um, and communication just flourishes from there and you're going to feel so excited and you're going to connect on a very intellectual level because, um, Aquarius and Gemini are both air signs. Okay. They're all about the intellectual realm, the mind, um, the analytical way of uh, of things so they rule they rule over that air realm um but i really feel this person is attracting you as well with the lover's card i think their energy is actively attracting you and this is super powerful that this is taking place It's also like a message here. Um, it's almost like you might receive a text or a message or you might see something online that has the word soulmate or that sort of comes to you um, in this sort of aspect here. Uh, six, seven, you know, you've got the number 16, eight. I mean, these are powerful numbers here for you around this person or meeting or connecting with this person. So you might start to see these sorts of messages, but I think you're going to get a very clear sign or symbol from the universe. Um or an angel message, I should say. Um, and that's going to be your sort of green light that you're about to meet this person. It's a very powerful sort of energy. And you're going to know it's going to be very clear and direct communication um, as well. So I'll leave it at that, Earth Science. Thank you again for tuning in. 
uh, it really does mean a lot. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. Don't forget to like this video and also to subscribe to the channel to get updates for readings for your sign. Otherwise, I'm sure I'll catch you very soon. Take care and bye for now.